Yo, 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 welcome back to another Bigotto video. If you haven't watched the previous video, this one, go check it out. It is a bang. There's a little bit of drama, uh, and the team, like, on the morning of the match, took over my GoPro, so there's like 10 minutes of footage of them just walking around, talking to each other, interviewing each other, international cricket players. It's quality watch, so go check it out. As for today, it is Monday, um, and I need to start, not start, I need to continue prep for the grand final this weekend. It's going to be a pretty bad week by the looks of it with uh, rain. So today is one of the clear days with a chance of rain later. Tomorrow is meant to be cold and raining all day, same as Wednesday and Thursday. I think Friday and Saturday are clear, so I need to get as much into it today as I can and pray that we have some decent weather in the back half of the week to continue working on it and get a good pitch for the grand final. Our twos are in the grand final here playing against Pudjab on Saturday and our ones are also through to the grand final playing against Punjab at Punjab on Saturday. Um, I'd love to be at the ones watching them play but because there's a twos grand final here I'm gonna have to be here for that which is fine hopefully they both win and we have a big night here afterwards. First order of business though this pitch was used on the weekend and like on Saturday for the final and also yesterday the threes played out here yesterday. This is the grand final pitch here so I need to get these roll-ons off. I made sure they covered them last night just in case we had any rain. I'm not sure if we actually did get any rain last night, but I hope not. Anyway, I'll get those off first and then we'll get started. Well, all of those little snippets of doing things Took about four hours of work. Um, so I've cut and rolled the practice wickets, that one and that one. I cut the square as well, stripe it up nicely. It's in pretty good nick coming into Renault's, which is happening in like two weeks from today, I believe. So that looks good. Go out and uh, look at the center. And out in the middle, I've done the exact same. I gave this pitch, which is the grand final pitch, a brush, a cut at seven millimeters and a roll. And then I cut the entire square as well striped up nicely it looks good because like i mean i mean it looks good yes but during the day the sun is over this side so it stripes up really nicely and the frog box is just there so it's in the perfect spot to get the stripes looking sick on the frog box which is handy um the rain's not meant to come till later and i think tomorrow it's not actually raining until more tomorrow night so and i think today like tonight i'm just going to cover like this this section here just to make sure this pitch is fine and if it does get a little light shower, that, that's fine. It's only Monday, it'll it'll dry. So it'll be all good, but we'll go have a look at, from the other end with this pitch with the sun glaring off it. So yeah, from this side, you can see with the sun glaring off it, it shimmers a bit, it's got a bit more shine to it. Doesn't look as green from this angle, but we've still got four days or five days of cutting, rolling, brushing, everything on this one. It's pretty firm already, which is good because it's, like I said, it's gonna rain a fair bit this week. So it's good that it's already got that base behind it. So if we do have it covered for a couple of days, it's still gonna remain firm and not gonna to be too hard to get a game on it. All right, let's do a big and you know, banger suggestion because it is fresh off the press because I posted a video yesterday, which is the um, preparing pitch to host the cricket grand final with the, the battery loading thumbnail. Um, so I've got lots of lots of comments on here to go through. Uh, I'll quickly just have a little scroll. First one I've noticed, which a song that I actually like. There's a couple actually on there that the songs are already in the playlist. So before you comment saying a certain song, just just double check because there happens a lot where there's already songs. I'm like, I just reply and go, it's already in there, brother. Um, anyway, so this one is from Tote underscore Brando. I'm thinking either Young Dumb Broke or Superfly by Blessed which I think Superfly might already be in there. Um, but Young Dumb Broke, is that the one by, yeah, I was worried it was um, the Snoop Dogg was Khalifa, Young Wild and Free, but Young Dumb Broke by Khalid. I do enjoy that song, so let's do that. So you're still thinking about me, just like I know you should. I cannot give you everything, you know I wish I could. I'm so high at the moment, I'm so caught up in this 
Yeah, we're just young, dumb, and broke, but we still got love to give. While we're young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke. Young, dumb, and broke by Khalid, absolute banger. Lock it into the playlist. Get to another one tomorrow. All right, I've covered the this part of the square anyway. The pitch is down the middle of this bit and I've got the double hessian there as well. So there's two pitches that side, pitch, and then another pitch here. And then I've got these roll-on covers just covering the footholes across half the square. We're not actually gonna get a lot of rain today. It's more so tomorrow afternoon. So just being very precautious, just in case. Because as long as I can get on the pitch, it's fine. That side of the square doesn't really bother me because I know it'll dry out. Anyway, but tomorrow definitely we'll cover the entire square, but today being Monday, not necessary. Okay, this is also covered for the Dutch training tomorrow. Got the roller on here just as a, just as a weight, I guess, but it's all pegged in. Anyway, time for me to go home and I'll see you tomorrow. Yo, Tuesday morning, it is cold as shit today and tomorrow is meant to be colder. Uh, I think we had a little shower overnight, not much. Um, the Dutch are training on these wickets today. I think it's just bowlers today, so they're not actually having any batters. So just some run-through bowls on this. And I've got to do get all those covers off out there. Hopefully the cats will come and mow the field because I've, I told them we had their grand final this weekend and to cut it three times to make sure it's nice. And they haven't shown up at all yesterday, and I haven't seen them at all. So let's hope they actually rock up. And today kind of a big day I guess I don't know um, I need to go into the city after work and I'm doing my biometrics for the Netherlands so I can officially like I've already got my work visa and all that approved but it took a while to get an appointment to do all my biometrics and my scans and stuff so I'm official um, so I'm doing that today because I was the earliest I could get in um, which took a while <laughs> but I'm doing that and then I'm leaving in a few weeks anyway, so, I don't know, but I think it goes till the end of next year, so, do the biometrics today, I also think I've got a meeting today to negotiate for next year, if I, if I choose to come back, so, we'll see how that goes as well, and, yeah. Pitch is fine after taking the covers off, so I'll get a brush, a cut, and a couple of rolls on this today, as well as the prackies once I get the nets over there sorted. Not sure if I said anything yesterday, but... Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We hit that 10K. The 10K giveaway will be announced shortly. The video to me right now hasn't come out yet. It comes out in a few days. So bear with me. Um, and then also comment. Comment some Be Ghetto Banger suggestions. Or just some nice things. Or some negative things. Comment whatever you want. It does help the algorithm. Although I have been getting a lot of comments lately and the views are sort of stopping in between like 3 and 4k which is a lot lower than usual um, maybe people are just getting sick of the same sort of stuff but the season ends this weekend and then there will be some other content coming out I'm doing the video batting against Vikram Jeet Singh and Clayton Floyd two international players that play for the Netherlands um, so they're both going to bowl at me on the practice nets just here and then I've also got a month or so of traveling around Europe and vlogging like that. So stay tuned for all that stuff. It's not just going to be cricket. All right, we're looking good. Pitch is firm, really firm. Fair bit of rain coming shortly. So going to get the Hessian on put the single cover over this, put this cover over the top, and then get the other like four pitches and cover that section as well. <sighs> Utilized all the pegs we have and covered majority of the wicker table. Like I said before, Hessian single cover, double cover over the actual pitch, got the roller on there as well as a counterweight for the wind, sandbags, all the pegs. Two and a half pitches, we don't have enough covers to cover it because we also have to cover the practice nets. Well, perfect timing. Got them all out there. Just got this one in time. Starting to drizzle a little bit, 
don't know how much we're gonna get right now. I still need a ride home in this shit. And then go to the city to do my biometric. Fuck. I'm gonna get drenched. Uh, oh. This is. I just ride into my appointment and I'm fucking drenched. I'm hiding out under a bridge right now. But, like, look at this shit. Oh my god. This is legit the wettest I've been since I've arrived in this country. And I've been on a coupler. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna have to go in there, hopefully not there too long, and then ride home in the same fucking rain. This is the worst. Well, it is Wednesday morning and it's been raining since 3 p.m. yesterday up until about 15 minutes ago. And now it's safe for me to ride to work. It's 9 a.m. It's meant to rain again in about three hours and I'm getting my wisdom tooth out today at lunchtime. So I'm almost at work now. Just gonna basically check the covers to make sure they're on. And on top of just checking that the covers are still on, I'll probably do a big get a banger. The sun is actually out now, but looking at the radar, it's not gonna be out for long. It's gonna be out for maybe an hour. And I don't know if there's any point getting the covers off just to put them back on as soon as I get them off. So yeah, I'm out here now. The covers are still on fine. I'll show that in a second, but I'll get to another bee gutter banger. But before I do that, um, well, it's fucking cold as today. Like this is probably the coldest day that I've experienced since being here. I think right now it's like 11 degrees. It's only having a max of 14 today. Same as tomorrow, 14 and still a bit of rain. Um, so it's fucking cold. And yeah, I gotta get my wisdom tooth out today at the hospital instead of the dentist. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be here long. I told them yesterday that that was the plan anyway. Uh, bigger no banger. Going through the comments of the video I recently posted. This one stood out to me because um, I saw the name of it and I was like, fuck, I actually haven't heard that song since I was like, like a, maybe a teenager or even younger. Uh, High Chillingworth said limp biscuit behind blue eyes for next big it banger nostalgic good work on the vids mate i'm watching them all of them. i'm watching all of them absolute tune i remember pumping this song out and like thinking it was the realest like saddest song ever be like <laughs> blue eyes i've got blue eyes <laughs> so yesterday i put it in my normal liked songs and listened to it a few times i was like fuck yeah this is a fucking banger bro so good to see that and that's what we're gonna do, Behind Blue Eyes by Limp Biscuit. And no one knows what it's like to be hated, to be faded, telling only lies. But my dreams, they aren't this empty. As my conscience seems to be Diddle doo 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 I have hours Only lonely My love is vengeance And that's never free Behind Blue Eyes by Limp Bizkit. What an absolute tune, what an absolute tune and today is Wednesday, the video hasn't gone for very long, so I think I'm gonna carry this video all the way up to Friday when I finish, because Friday, tomorrow's a bit of rain and then Friday's clear, so I'm gonna go all the way up to Friday and then I'm gonna start another one just as a grand final special, a one day sort of thing, just the Saturday, all through Saturday, highlights of the ones and the twos match, and then a bit of Saturday night, hopefully a bit of a celebration. So this video will end at the end of Friday. Here is the covers, just to show that they are still on. Uh, there's a bit of water sitting on here, but I've got the single cover under that, the double hessian under that as well, so it should be fine. I, I really don't think there's any point me trying to peel this off by myself for maybe an hour before it rains again, so I think I'm just going to leave this. I might actually put the roll-on covers over this just to even be quadruple safe. All right, well, the water that was on the cover in the middle, I tried to super sop off it, and it was just sliding and not doing anything. So I put the roll-on covers on, got the hoses attached just in case. Uh, I mean, here's what it is. And I'm going to go to the dentist to get my wisdom tooth pulled out. So 
Let's uh, reconvene after that. Oh. He just did three, three fucking anesthesia needles in my thing. Like back home, we do like one for a tooth. Bro just had big ass needles and was like, are you ready? And I was like, okay. And he went one, and I was like, ah. And then he got another one out. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, good. And then he got another one out. And I was like, how fucking many needles, brother? And it's already like, my tongue's tingling and that whole side's already numb. Uh, update, I've been sitting here in the same chair for 38 minutes. Then Dennis walked out and goes, oh, I'll be back in a second. Still in the back. I am very numb, but fuck me, like, where is this bloke? Terrible service. Worst experience at a dentist I've ever had. And I can't really speak that much now because my whole fucking face is numb. So I might even add a uh, big and a banger. I can't feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it. I gotta add that to the playlist. But, oh my god, my whole throat. He used three fucking massive needles. My whole throat is numb. This whole part is numb, and all here is numb. Uh, it feels like my throat's like closing up. Anyway. I'll tell a story. I've literally only just got out. I don't know if it's a fucking dent, like a dent, <sighs> like a dentist. I can't say D. I don't know if it's a weird dentist joke. I can't speak. What the hell? Um, and he numbed me up at one thirty. I waited there until two thirty, two thirty, and he didn't even come in. It was a nurse, and I was like, "Where's the guy?" She goes, "What do you mean?" We just leave you for a few minutes. I go, it's been fucking almost an hour. And she was like, oh, oh my God, I'll come back in a second. I'm sorry, I'll take me to another fucking room. Lays me down. The guy's still not in there. He walks in with a fucking body bag. Oh, fuck, I can't talk. Puts it on my face, on my whole body. There's a little hole. He goes, open your mouth. I was like, yep. And he just, like, he barely spoke. He was just fucking rude as. Goes, feel pressure. Went, oh, ripped it out straight away. Goes, you're done. And then he went... And like hit me on the head. And then I, as I fucking flung the shit off to turn around and go, hey, hey. He was already out of the fucking room. And I was like, I said to the nurses, I go, that guy's fucking rude as shit. And they're like, what do you mean? And I was like, he fucking leaves me numbed up for an hour. And doesn't tell me shit. And then he comes in, does it and fucks off before he even said anything. He's got no manners at all, no respect. He's just fucking rude. And they're like, oh, sorry, sorry. I go, no, you guys are fine. But that guy is a fucking douche. Like, I don't care if he's got places to be or whatever. Just have a bit of fucking personality to you, like, show me a little bit more personable, loser, anyway, my whole fucking face is numb, my throat feels like it's closing up, so if I don't make it to tomorrow, you know why, you probably won't even see this video, but, mm. alright, I am back, uh, Thursday morning, and we're in the, pretty much the same spot that we were in yesterday, uh, another plane is flying over, to stop talking well like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by that plane uh, yeah so today more rain coming in about half an hour it's really black behind those trees and it's coming this way so once again I'm not gonna bother taking these covers off just yet but I will hang around because I don't have a dentist appointment today um, yeah I doubled up with the roll-on covers yesterday just to make sure so be interesting to see hopefully today I can at least unveil the pitch and get a little bit of a cut and a roll on it and then cover it back up. The Dutch are meant to be training on the practice wickets. That's not going to happen because they start at 10 and the rain's going to hit at like 9.45 and be on and off pretty much all day until early afternoon. So I'll probably have to wait until early afternoon to get this uncovered and until I have a little bit of help just to make sure no water falls on it. But that's my plan today. Try and get a little bit of work on this and then tomorrow it's not meant to rain at all so I should be able to have it uncovered all day tomorrow and get a good set on it anyway oh my lordy lordy lord we do not like this two days out from a grand final this shit better stop I need, I, need, I need to make sure that that pitch is dry I just want to get the covers off to check it but I can't get the covers off while it's doing this golly and surely you guys can see that it is raining quite heavily around me and it has been for a couple of days so I thought it's the best time for me to add another B Ghetto banger to the playlist and this song I feel is very fitting this was not commented like I said a couple of videos ago I'm going to add two songs 
from the comments and I'm gonna choose one song. So this song is by me and it is <laughs> very fitting. Rain by Creed. I feel it's gonna rain like this for days. So let it rain down and wash everything away. I hope that tomorrow the sun will shine. Rain by Creed. And quite frankly, I'm very sick of this rain the last couple of days. In the lead up to a grand final as well, uh, we're still, well, we're probably exactly 48 hours from when the game is meant to start. So I'm hoping that the rain is done today and tomorrow we can start the process of getting the covers off, letting everything dry and getting a cut and a roll on the wickets. I'm hoping to do that today, but I mean, we'll see what happens when this little patch of rain, patch of heavy rain, pisses off. Part of the issue is we don't have enough covers to cover the entire square because we've got the practice wickets covers covered. So this pitch really needs to dry up, um, but it is quite far away from the game day pitch, so I'm not too concerned about it. Worst case scenario, Saturday morning, I'll just put some dry loam in those areas. But like as of tomorrow, I should be able to cover the whole square for tomorrow anyway. So hopefully it works. If not, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. There is reserve day on the Sunday. All right, it's been raining for four hours straight. Heavy, heavy rain. This is the lightest it's been. It is still raining. I'm not sure if you can tell. But yeah, it is, it is still raining. And there is more rain to come. That's the heavy stuff that just left. There's a little bit of blue sky over there, which is nice. But there's more rain coming, as you can see on the little uh, thing next to me with the radar. This is just a write-off of a day. Tomorrow's meant to be clear. Friday, uh, Saturday's meant to be clear. So... Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna have to leave now and come back. I'm not. Gonna, I'm definitely not gonna have time to take this off in between rains because it's coming every two seconds anyway. So I'm just gonna come back tomorrow early in the morning. Hopefully, can get these covers off. Hopefully, there's no water on the pitch, and we can try and hope that the, I can get some work on it for the grand final Saturday. Scratch that. We just played some uh, cricket in the indoor nets. <sighs> Uh, Vic, myself, Damari, and Tom um, just throwing the tennis ball with the sidearm at fucking like 160 k's per hour. So we filmed all that as well. That's not in this video. But the rain's gone around us and now it's not going to rain for another two hours. So we're going to try and get this off and just see if the pitch is wet. I'm not going to do anything. Might actually get a quick roll on it, but we'll see. Well, pretty standard. We got the covers peeled off and there was a wet spot. It's actually not too bad. I've had the blower on it. Kind of see it along the left hand side of the pitch. The Hessian was pretty wet, so it's just been holding it. It's still firm underneath, it's not super soft, so I don't think it's been wet for a week. Like, it's probably only gotten wet today with all that heavy rain. But we're gonna have another hour of sunshine, so hopefully it dries out, and then I'll put the covers back on and take them off first thing tomorrow morning. Alright, it is 6 30 pm. I've been here since. 8.30 a.m. And while this was drying out, I thought I'd mark the creases just to have those already ready so it's one less thing I have to do tomorrow. Pitch is actually looking pretty fine. Um, the wet spots that were over there were not actually too wet. So they dried pretty quick. Like it's still firm. So I'll get a good couple of rolls on this tomorrow after a brush and a cut. Uh, I even put out the practice nets. They're gonna use those. They'll have to cover them again tonight, maybe. I don't know, the, the rain just keeps going around us, so it's been good. It's actually quite warm now. Um, so I'll put the Hessian back on, single cover back on, big cover back on, and roll-ons back on. And hopefully we don't get any rain, and tomorrow morning I can just come in, take everything off, work on it. Bob's your uncle. All right, I've got the covers on. Anyway, it's off me to go home. See you tomorrow. Okay, 7.30 a.m. out here. In cold Amsterdam boss. It is starting to get very cold in the mornings now. Very cold wind chill when riding to work. But no frost on the outfield. A little bit dewy. I don't think we got any more rain overnight, which is handy. I think there's a small chance at 8.30 this morning um, for a light shower. So I don't know if I want to get the covers off now 
or just wait until that passes. First order of business is to take all this down, pack it up. The only people using this for the rest of the season is the men's Dutch team, training out here Monday and Wednesday next week, and then that's that's finished. So they'll just be using these same pitches because they barely got used because it was so wet this week. And of course it is raining yet again. This better stop by fucking 10 or 11 o'clock because I desperately need to take these covers off and do some work. All right, finally got the covers off. The pitch is all right. Still a little bit damp in that area there where I had the blower on yesterday. So I'll, I'll put the blower on it now. It's not so, like it's not wet, it's just a bit soft. So I'll blow it out now just to dry. Sun's out. Should be good for the rest of the day anyway. Let it air out and then get a cut and a roll on it. And another little shower just come out of fucking nowhere while I was rolling. So, kind of time to get the single on. The radar shows nothing, so realistically it's just a sun shower, but it's fucking annoying. Yeah, baby. Okay, so I put this over the drainage, same as I did over there, just for this game. Pitch is basically ready for play tomorrow. All I need to do is put the stump holes in down both ends and paint the creases a little bit wider. But I'm just gonna probably cover this up shortly, put the Hessian single, big, and then cover the run-ups as well with the roll-ons. And that'll probably do me, and I'll probably I'll just come in tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning, and get a start on this. For an 11 o'clock start for the cricket match, so I'll probably come in at like 7.30, 8 a.m., get some shit done. All right, Lekka, we've got, you can see through this sheet, you can see the single cover's on, the Hessian's on. You've got this cover on, which is the one from the practice wickets, which definitely has no holes in it because the practice wickets never get wet. So this one is covering about four pitches, so two next to it, the current one and another one. Um, there is no chance of rain that the weather app says. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to bother covering this because it kind of needs to dry out from the water the other day. We've got the roll-on covers covering the run-ups down both ends. So the entire pitch and the run-ups have been covered. All right, now everything is on properly. We ended up just doubling up down there. But look at that, blue skies, not a cloud in sight. The weather app, as you can see next to me, says no precipitation for the next 24 hours. So I guess we're gonna risk it. I'm not gonna cover the entire square. I'll keep an eye on it though, so if I have to come back, I will. Grand final special video tomorrow. This video is gonna end now. The next video will be the grand final special, just a once off during the day, bit of work in the morning, and then highlights of the ones and twos. And then, and then a bit of celebration, hopefully. Thanks for watching, Fred.